Welcome back to the commonly used Excel charts and functions video series. Today in lesson 17, we will look at the if function. Here is a table I use to keep track of my digital time. I want to limit my digital time to no more than two hours per day, so let's see what my average was for the week. All right, so you can see my average was greater than two hours per day, which isn't what we want. So let's identify which days specifically exceeded those two hours, and to do that, we'll use the if function. If digital time is over two hours, I want to see yes in this cell, otherwise I want to see no. So I'll type my if function in, and one important thing to note when using the if function is that there's three arguments in its syntax. The first is the logical test, which is the actual test we want the function to perform. The second argument will be the value that will be returned if the logical test is true. And the third argument is the value that is returned if the logical test is false. All right, I'll press enter and you can see our formula didn't work correctly here. So let's take a closer look at what happened. I know what we're missing. We need double quotations around the words yes and no. All right, there we go. And let's drag the formula down to fill in the rest of the column. By manually counting the number of yeses, we can see that there are five days with over two hours of digital use. However, I wanna do an automatic calculation of this by using the sum function. To do this, we'll have to change our original if function. So we'll go back to our first cell and delete the function we have there. I'm going to type if back in, and this time we'll use the exact same logical test as before. We'll put a 1 if the value is true and a 0 if the value is false. What this does is it tells Excel to put a number 1 if the digital time is over 2 hours and a 0 if the digital time is 2 hours or below. So I'll press enter and then drag the formula down to fill in the rest of the column. So you can see here all I need to do now is use a simple sum function and sum this column here, and that manual calculation of five days will be done for me automatically. So you may remember a moment ago, we needed to put double quotations around the words yes and no for our if function to work. However, we didn't do this in this case when we were using the numbers one and zero. So what happens if we put double quotations around these numbers? Let's put them in quickly to do a test. All right, and I'm just going to drag the formula down to update the rest of the column. All right, so you can see that the number of days over two hours is now zero, even though everything else looks correct. So what exactly is going on? In Excel, the content inside double quotations are a text format. So never put double quotations around a number, because if you do, you change it into this text format and math functions such as sum, average, and so on won't work properly. So let's remove those double quotations and then update the rest of the column so that our count is back to being correct. All right, there we go. So you can also put a formula or a function inside of the if function, and we'll show you that in the next example. Here I have a table that consists of student attendance for a class. The maximum number of attendance marks is 22, so the instructor decides to give any students who have earned 19 or more attendance marks 100% for their overall attendance score. Any students who have received below 19 attendance marks will receive their specific number of marks divided by 19 as their attendance score. To calculate everyone's attendance score, we will use another IF function. And this time, our logical test will be if the student's specific number of attendance marks are greater than or equal to 19. If so, we will give the student 100%. And if not, the student will receive whatever their number of attendance marks was divided by 19 as their attendance grade. All right, so I'm going to drag the formula down to fill in the rest of the column. And then just at the bottom here, let's calculate the class average of all the attendance scores. So our overall average was an 82%, which is pretty good. All right, that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and learning about the if function. 
Tune into the next lesson where we will learn about the if error function.